Hey gang, Scott here. A quick tip for you about dodging and burning and leveraging the radio masks in Lightroom to do this. Uh, it's really a powerful technique. I use it all the time. Realized I was doing it on this photo that I'm about to show you. Wanted to share the technique. I'm sure I've talked about this before, but uh, I guess it bears repeating. So, uh, so let me show you this here. I'm just getting started on this photo of the Sayusla River in Florence, Oregon. I'm going up there in about uh, five weeks or so to, to host a workshop, I'm getting excited about the trip, uh, looking at some of the images from my last visit. And this was one of those you know, very you know, foggy, hazy mornings before the sun cut through the, the morning fog out on the river. And what I want to do here, of course, is, is just bring these structures out here, you know, these, these bits of anchor points in the scene. They've got this one here, there's one hiding over here in the, the shadows, there's the dock. Add a little bit of pop to those so they jump out more. That'll give me more depth in the photo and it is really, you know, part of the, the story here. You know, a few pilings and those particular structures, the rest becomes background. My preferred way of doing this is using the masks and in particular radial masks. You'll see as I turn this on, notice that those buildings and that dock pop up before and after. So how am I building this up? Let's, let's recreate this. I'll create a new mask and I start with radials and just say, all right, um, roughly speaking, I want, you know, this structure affected. And, you know, I kind of just, I've got most of it there. That's about what I need. Click that open, add a second radial for, say, this structure, right? Add a third radial, in this case for the dock. And I really only care about the, the bright parts of the dock. I don't care about the pilings on the right. I right, have those things. Now, if I take the exposure slider right now and I do my dodge, right, and I raise that up, you know, I get these awkward looking, you know, almost uh, really false looking spotlights. This is where the intersect tool in Lightroom comes into play. We can take the sum total of everything I've masked so far, those three different uh, radials, and intersect all of them with, in this case, I'll use a luminance range mask. And the way to do that, the very top where I have mask two, like your top thing, not your individuals, your top item, intersect with luminance range. And I will now get my picker and I'll choose like this middle structure here and just kind of click and drag a little bit on that structure. So I get this right now. I'm looking at the luminance range for the whole photo. But now if I hover over mask two, this is the sum of everything. So the three radials, all three radials intersected with a luminance range mask. You know, now look at that exposure slider, right? I'm pushing it around. I'm just hitting the... Uh, the dock and the structures, and I can dial that in exactly where I need. And if I needed to, I could play around with the range mask itself, you know, make it a little bit broader, perhaps, bias it one way or the other. That did not look good, so I'll undo that to, to keep it where it was. If I wanted a little more of the highlights to be pulled in, a little less, you've got all those controls of the luminance range. But the thing about the luminance range is it's impacting the sum of all of the previous masks beneath it. Now I've talked about intersect before and you know building up several radials, objects, whatever they might be, and then intersecting the total of that. I'll put a link in the show notes, you know, card here so you can check that video out. But it's a really powerful technique for simple things like dodging and burning. You know, um, I'm narrating this and you can imagine if I were just doing like, you know, select something, select something, select something, intersect, and then I've got my my dodge before and after. That's fast. And then I can repeat that again and again and again. And that's what I'm going to go off and do now and finish off the photo. Uh, but I hope you found the video useful for the technique for this intersection for, you know, quick and easy dodge and burns. Got questions? Go ahead and drop them below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Have fun.